What up, though, heist man? The folk talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Move over, Jada Pickett Smith. We got a new wife out here, man. Being very, very, very disrespectful. Y'all know what I'm talking about, man. We talking about the wife of Joe Smith. I don't know her name. I think her name Keisha. Keisha Chavez, something like that, man. If y'all know who Joe Smith is, he a former number one draft pick. Back in the days, I think 1995, 96. I forgot what year it was, but y'all know what I'm talking about. They played for Maryland. But yo, his wife being very, very disrespectful, I say, because she got an OnlyFans page. And this OnlyFans page she got, she got it behind his back. Hold on, man. I got some little bit of footage of her telling him. Look at this right here, man. Mm -hmm. stupid, bro. I can't believe I'm sitting here just finding out you got an OnlyFans page. Out of all these years, yo, the mm. disrespect that comes with it, that you couldn't even talk to me Look at her, man. Did it, that's bullshit, bro. Yeah. That's fucked up. That's his wife, Keisha. That's, that's just a little bit of it right there, man. That's a little bit of the um of the video I seen. Um, I don't know, man. Marriage, it's supposed to be sacred. She got, man, she, see how cold and calculated she was when she was sitting there? She was um, recording behind his back, too. He didn't even know it, like, at first. She was recording. This is like a whole video about it. And she got an OnlyFans page out there behind his back. She tried to go out and say it's like it's her body, her choice. She can do all that, you know. But yo, she just trying to get that paper. That's what she got that man out here looking crazy, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. What's her name? Keisha Shabby. That's the story though. Um I don't know what's going on in their life. But Obviously, that man didn't know she was behind his back making only for He had to find out the hard way. He was just, oh, that's you. Like, he a former number one draft pick. He done made some money. I don't know. Um, Her body, her choice, all that she's saying. But behind his back, y'all married. You got the only fans behind that man back. That's wild. Um, Like, man, I don't know, man. That's. That's they business, man. I just got to bring it to you. Like, I see you. When I seen this, I'm looking like, oh, that's Joe Smith. What he up to? Oh, that's what he up to. <laughs> we definitely going to be talking about this Friday. We get a woman's perspective on this also. Um, my co-host. My wife. She better have no OnlyFans behind my back. I got to check. I ain't got to check. But, yo. I mean, is it... Maybe he ain't handling business or something, and she tried to get that paper because they look like they're in dire straits, man. I'm talking about, hold on, man. Look at this. Mm, I don't know what this off of. This off the internet. I, I seen pictures like, yo, why they look unhappy? Man, hold on. That's crazy. Yeah, we definitely going to be talking about this Friday, man. We get a whole different perspective on this, see how a woman feel about it. <clears throat> if I'm um, having the OnlyFans. I don't know what she doing on there either. I ain't saying... I don't know what it's hers, and I don't know if she busting the wide open on, or she's selling feet pictures or something. I don't know. I just know it's behind that man back, and he don't like it. Um, I wouldn't like it either. She she said she's trying to get that paper. Like I'm saying, it's a whole video. You go look it up, you'll see it. She will try to walk away from him. He's still trying to explain to her that yo, you got the only fans. He ain't, it don't work like that. Mm. It's a weird situation. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this. How you feel if your significant other had the OnlyFans behind your back? And what they doing on there? And it is her body and her choice and all that, but it's that man body too. He don't own me. I don't know. You can't say that no more. You can't say, I don't know, man. That's why I am mean. It's just, when I seen this, I'm looking like, bro, what you going to do? Did your boys tell you how you find out? Mm. Somebody got to keep my eye on, man. I'm going to look it up later. Anyway, I go live on the channel every Friday at 9 p.m. You come through and holler at your boy. Hit the like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimper that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation, and holler at your boy, Heist Man the Foe. Talk their talk, ghetto news and opinions. All right. This time. But I'll be back. And sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.